A diesel owner's worst nightmare right here. Fuel contamination took out the complete fuel system. This was a huge mess. Thankfully, this wasn't my vehicle. This was one that I worked on and it was bad. So this could happen with DAF contamination. We'll get into what you should do if you do have an issue where you know for certain that there was a, a contamination issue. We'll go into what all this entailed, everything. This was a high dollar repair, I guarantee you that. Um, I did take apart the pump also, so I have the parts. So I'll show you the uh, inner workings of the pump as well as all the parts. I have them all right down here. We'll get into what all I replaced. We'll talk fuel additives because that's a huge question that comes up in uh, many, many chats. But let's start off with the pump. So it's been long asked, what kind of pump is inside these 3.0 Duramax diesels? Is it a Bosch or is it a Denso? This is a Denso HP5 pump. So Denso makes a high quality pump. I really like Denso. They're very tight tolerances though. Look at this shaft. So that is from the contamination. Now what was in there exactly? I do not know, but it smelled sort of bleach like, but a lot of this crystallization and everything tells me that it was possibly deaf, maybe a mixture of the two. I don't know if this was sabotaged or what, but it's not up to me to decide how it happened. I just fixed stuff. So what this is, this is the shaft. And the reason I took this apart was to kind of give you a little to show you. So there's a roller inside. And so there's two rollers inside, actually. Let me correct myself on that. Two rollers inside, and this shaft will spin, and it's going to push the rollers up and down. They're seized. I can't even, I can't do anything. So it's going to push onto here, and that's going to generate the pressure, and you're going to have high pressure coming out of this side, as well as the other side, which I don't know what I do with the other piece. But So there's two of these little head units, and that's going to create your high pressure now I bring this up because you see how pitted that is. It's very tight clearances there. So any issue with the fuel is going to cause a problem with this. So the injection pump is a little difficult to get to. You pretty much have to take apart a lot of the engine. So on the left side of the engine is where the injection pump is and it is timed from the back. So the transmission has to come out to access it. Special tool needs to be used to get everything lined up and held into place. And you need a, the tool will also push the injection pump out. And then you'll set in the new injection pump and have it timed correctly because you can't have it mistimed because then your pulses aren't gonna be correct. And it's just, it's a big mess. So highly critical, you have all the correct parts. So that's just the fuel injection pump right there. Then we have the fuel cooler needs to be replaced as well. So basically fuel runs into this. There are coolant hoses that come in and come out and that's going to cool down your fuel. And the reason you need a fuel cooler is because this pump is compressing the fuel and when you compress fuel, fuel it makes heat. So then when it's returning back to the tank, that's where it needs to go through the cooler. Every single injector needs to be replaced because you're gonna have that contamination go inside the injector and it's gonna get stuck in there, you're done. Every single fuel line has to be replaced. The fuel tank has to be dropped thoroughly cleaned. Fuel filter housing has to be replaced. It is a huge, huge deal. I mean, the whole top of the engine needs to come off to get to these injectors, really not the whole top of the engine, but you have to be at the top of the engine to get to the fuel injectors. One by one, you gotta replace all of the rails or the fuel, the one fuel rail, all of the fuel injector lines, you need to replace the high pressure lines. It's a huge, huge undertaking. Now, what do you do if you get a fuel contamination issue? So based off of GM's recommendations here, you know, I've, I've got, um, not really recommendations, but this is the fuel system clean. This is what has to be done. Diesel exhaust fluid is a corrosive fluid, so we're assuming you got death fluid in there. That's the most common thing to happen is death fluid in the diesel because the two holes are right next to each other. And it's very unfortunate that it's just so easy for this to happen, so it's common. And uh, so diesel exhaust fluid is a corrosive fluid that also tends to form deposits on components. In case of death contamination in the fuel tank, follow the guidelines below. 
If the in-tank fuel pump has been run, then it must be assumed that DEF has been pumped through both the low pressure system and the high pressure pump. For this case, there are two scenarios. So let's just break this down real quick. So the low pressure system, that's the pump that's inside your fuel tank, and that sends it to the injection pump, which is the high pressure. So that's what they're referring to on the low side, or the low pressure system and the high pressure. All right, so engine has not been cranked. That means you're at the gas station, you filled up, you know you put DEF in there, you're like, ah, crap, and you stopped just in time. So in this case, the system from fuel fill pipe to the high pressure fuel pump and the high pressure pipe from pump to rail must be replaced along with the low pressure return lines. That's your bare minimum right there. So that tank has to come down, cleaned out, your fuel filter housing as well, which I don't think they mentioned that. Fuel filter housing needs to come out. Fuel injection pump, it's it basically just opening the door turns on that pump that's in the fuel tank and that's going to send fuel upwards. That's bad news. Now, if the engine has been cranked, this is where it gets ugly and this is, this is the unfortunate one. In this case, the entire fuel system from fuel fill pipe to high pressure fuel pump, fuel rail, injectors, injector return fuel lines, high pressure fuel pipes and low pressure return lines must be replaced. They did not mention the fuel cooler, which also needs to be replaced. So you can see how this all just adds up. All right, so if the in-tank fuel pump has not been run, the fuel fill pipe, tank, and fuel pump module should be replaced. Now let me tell you, I don't know if you've heard it, but the second you open your driver door, you can hear beep. That's your pump. Unfortunately, it's priming the system and uh, there's just no way around it. So best case scenario is do not start your engine if you know you have any sort of fuel contamination. You need to get that stuff out immediately. It's gonna start corroding everything. I mean, this is worse. This corrosion is just, this is how it looked when I took it apart. And it, I don't, I don't know how much time it took, but you can see the keyway, by the way. I know I get sidetracked, but there's a keyway to allow you to time it correctly. Anyway, so you can see the whole extent of everything that needs to be done if there is a fuel system contamination. Now, let's get into the most fun here of fuel additives. I know people love to ask fuel additives. I took a page out of the owner's manual right here. So we're gonna start off with just the fuel additive section. And it says top tier detergent diesel is highly recommended for use with your vehicle. If your area does not have top tier detergent diesel, GM recommends the use of AC Delco diesel fuel conditioner. This will help maintain optimal engine performance. GM does not recommend other aftermarket diesel additives. So let me tell you, go ahead and do a search on this top tier detergent diesel. Yeah, good luck finding anything. There's just so minimal out there. So you're gonna need to run an additive. And the reason for an additive being recommended is because of these tight tolerances that I showed you on that pump. And the newer fuel does not have lubricity in it. So you really need the lubricity to help keep everything going. So if low quality diesel is used for refueling, GM recommends adding AC Delco fuel system treatment plus diesel to help clean engine deposits. This is available at your GM dealer. So of course they only recommend the AC Delco stuff. Um, nothing aftermarket. So I'm not going to recommend anything aftermarket on this at all. But what I will tell you is the product that comes recommended to me by others, and I'm not suggesting anybody should run, but the Hotshot Secret seems to be the people's choice out on the internet world. So not saying that you should run that. Definitely not saying that you should absolutely run the GM treatment in your vehicle and uh, nothing else if you're going to run additives. So, till next time, see ya.